Ahoy sailors! At the Northman Sailing Channel, we continue to introduce you to the mass Janneker furloughs made in Poland. Today, we shall upgrade the basic furlough set to a top-down system to handle large Janneker's for downwind. The tr tricky thing is that firstly, the A2 type A sail, for example, has the loft length of about 8 to 10 percent longer than the distance from the exit of the hull area to the tag fastening point. And secondly, the main girth of the downwind janitor is situated in the upper third of the sail, to wind it up smoothly without the formation of air bubbles, which may cause the sail to take the wind in or unfurl or beat back and forth in the wind which is really unpleasant. We need to ensure that the janker is folded neatly from top to down. To do this, plus to the basic kit, which consists of the drum and the upper swivel, uh, you may buy an optional top-down swivel and install it on the drum. Besides, you will have to make a soft stay that will connect the central part of the optional drum swivel with the upper swivel and transfer the rotation from the spinning drum to the upper swivel. On the screen now you may see a schematic that shows the standard furlough kit for drifters and screechers as compared to the top-down system for large janikers, what they both consist of and how they work. For the precise transfer of rotation, it is extremely important to choose the right rope for your soft stay. We tried both polyester ropes and Kevlar ropes, but the best after all is a special anti-torsion rope. How is it different from the others? To show this, I have bound with the outer shell of the anti-torsion cable. As you can see, the outer shell is grey. The core of the rope is yellow and the core is wrapped into the red rubber shirt which makes the contact between the core and the sheath better, not allowing the shell to twist around the core so easy. After measuring the actual length on your belt, you may install thimbles into the ends of the soft stay. Fix them with either eye splicing or cable clips and protect them with heat shrink tubing. The head of the janiker is normally fixed to the top of the soft stay attached to the upper swivel. And the tag is fastened to the side eye on the optional swivel over the drum. When you rotate the drum with the control line, it rotates the soft stay with the top of the sail fixed to it. While the tack of your Jonaker remains in place, almost to the very end of the operation. So the system furls the Jonaker from top to bottom first one in the main girth of the sail and only after that taking in the narrow lower part. I would like to focus on two very important points. First, it's no use trying to save on the quality of the rope, nor on its diameter. As you can see, I once made this stay out of a 6mm anti-torsion cable, which was obviously insufficient for a 12.5 meter long mast which required more solid rope, around 10 mm. So the rope did twist, and you may still notice the traces of it, and the furlough didn't always work as it should have. That's because a 6 mm cable is suitable for a boat of 5 to 6 meters. Uh, for a 7 to 8 meter yacht, it is worth choosing an 8mm cable. And for the bolts measuring from 9 to 10 meters, it is desirable to take 
10 to 11 millimeters. Secondly, for the correct operation of a system, you need to teach your sail and your soft stay to fold together, just as you manually lay a new crisping mainsail into a lazy bag to make it fall properly for fast free fall. To do this, hoist the janaker in a very calm weather and carefully roll and unroll it several times. That will go easier. While operation 2, you'll need to work out your own furling technique. Perhaps you should tighten the soft stay or completely let loose the sheets, act according to the situation. And please don't panic. You can always get the sail down in a usual way, under the boom for instance, if something went wrong. You can see a dimensional drawing of the furlers. G25 has a slot on the swivels and on the drum to fit a 6mm roll and G30 up to 10mm. So, if you want to roll a large janiker on a 24 feet bolt, you may need the G30, so you could easily use an 8mm anti torsion cable. Besides, such a janiker may have a sail area of about 40 square meters, which is the upper limit for the G25. Of course, the rope can be squeezed a bit, and the owners of larger yards simply don't have another choice trying to insert a 10 or 11 mm cable into the slot. But the benefits are worth your efforts. In the case, I advise you to use a small thimble for an 8 mm cable, for instance. Finally, you have got a truly versatile system. The basic furler can be mounted on your board all the time. With this setup, you can hoist a coat sail for close to broad reaching. But if the wind veers further, you may furl up the coat zero, get it down and fasten and put it in the turtle bag. Now get the large A sail, wound on a soft stay with an optional drum swivel on it and hoist it on a furler. Bind the sheets and voila, you have already got a top down system. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. We will reply to all, explain how it works and how to choose the right gear for your boat. Have a good sailing season!